right, well, thanks for watching today. Um, I really wanted to spend some time talking about uh, backgrounds, the way that I draw um, buildings and technology and, and the different things that go into backgrounds. I think I'm going to stay away from organic stuff right now and, and really just concentrate on, on perspective and uh, line weights and getting lighting working um, with things like buildings, uh, buildings and, and more uh, structured backgrounds. It's something that is a real weakness in a lot of samples that I see and uh, I wanted to cover some of the things uh, that I do to make it easy and a little more consistent. So first of all, I wanted to show you the ruler that I use. If you can see it, this is a, uh, it's a binnacle. What this is, it's actually a mapping instrument. I have no idea how it's supposed to be used for mapping, but I use it to draw parallel lines and you can see it opens and it stays parallel. So, so what I use this for is I'll take my page and just line it up with one of the existing lines on the page. And then I can just very, very quickly create parallel lines up and down the page. It saves me a whole lot of time. I'm not having to use a T-square or um, or something that's that's a, a lot more difficult to, to set up with every single line. Um, I've seen uh, I've seen Jim Lee use a, a ruler just freehand like this, and he has so much control that he doesn't even need to really line it up and he can make it all parallel but that's not something I've ever been able to do and I have a feeling that's something you might struggle with too so uh, normally I would rotate my page a little bit just for the interest though of making this a little easier to watch I'm not going to do that so I'm going to be reaching around a little bit but you can see how quickly and easily I can get just a basic grid and in a minute it'll be I'm sure probably for most of you it's already apparent why I'd be doing this but I do this for, for just about every uh, background that I ever draw. And it just makes my life so easy compared to what it could be. Um, and again, having to not turn the page is just making this a little bit tougher, but we'll get through this. And I can also just shift the ruler like this as long as I'm careful. And get the last little lines in here. There we go, and I have a nice uh, even, <clears throat> I came off a little bit here, but I have a nice even, even grid and I can very easily just draw a background on top of that. I'm going to do a simple one point perspective to start. Uh, one thing I, I don't really want to cover in, in like great depth right now is one, two and three point perspective and how they all work and all that kind of thing. Cause honestly, that's something I, I feel like you can find anywhere. What I really want to concentrate on is how to use those concepts that you can find anywhere and, and really, um, refine them for, for drawing comic books and uh, uh, just find techniques to make it much easier and quicker and more consistent for you to get the look that you want. So from here, I'm just going to put a point directly in the center towards the bottom, use a little X so I know where I'm at, and then I can just take the same ruler that I've got here, and when I do this, I make sure to lift over my X, this is something I learned many years ago. Because if I don't lift, I'll end up with a huge star that's almost impossible to erase right in the center of my picture. So I'm just going to quickly get these lines in here. And you can see how uh, it's, it's really quick to, uh, to get what I need. And I, I know there are um, pre-made perspective templates that people get. I have honestly no idea how those work. This, is, this always just worked very quickly and easily for me. So... This is how I do it. Once I get it past this point too, you'll see in a minute, uh, I generally don't actually use a ruler when I'm drawing the, the lines for my, uh, my actual backgrounds. And I just use these as a guide. And I, <laughs> that's partly relying on my inker to, uh, to clean me up, but also I find I can be pretty clean with it and it gives it a bit more of an organic kind of a feel this way. So we're almost done here. Get one more line right there, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now the next step that, that I take from here is just to erase this off. And what I'm doing isn't um, erasing it completely, I'm just lightening it down. So now this will be useful. I, I can still see all these lines and I can use it as a guide. So now I can, I can basically plot out where I want uh, my different buildings or objects or whatever it is I'm drawing uh, on this grid. So what I'm going to do from here is uh, just really lightly say, okay, I'm going to I'm going to throw a nice big building here in the foreground. 
and uh, here it is. And uh, I think another one here. And um, 